Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1015 for Friday, January 29th, 2010. The Microsoft Spot Watch. And now, get ready for Dick. Somewhere fiery furnaces burn and people scream in agony the terror the horror the the terrible gnashing of teeth somewhere there's a place where agony reigns fortunately that place isn't dick's gadget warehouse where we're going right now to enjoy another fine gadget air warehouse episode It's terrible. The worst. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, yeah, he here. takes them out to play. You Dick's it Gadget Warehouse. Uh, dick, 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 dick. Dickie D, how are you today? By the way, I, just a little disclaimer here. Ill. That Dickie D has in no way any, uh, any responsibility for any of the stupidity that might happen on this end of the microphone. That's, that's not his fault. Oh, I t- no, that's how we share and share alike. <laughs> He's responsible only for the stupidity on his end. Yes, and I think that's sufficient on this end. <laughs> I don't need any additional stupidity from oh, you. Oh, lordy, lordy. It's almost over, pal. It's almost over. <laughs> this is Friday. Is the week, this has been an exhausting week. This is the week that Apple announced the... <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, of course, an amazing... <laughs> Yeah, and, is it, uh, you have one under your desk for uh, next Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, look at this. It's Ooh. incredible. Oh, don't show that. Don't show you that. You won't believe it. Mm-hmm. Mm. We should wow. explain that this is this was recorded before the Apple event. So just fill in that whatever what Apple actually used to actually tell the press what no, they were doing. Oh no! This is, is the event the, is where they tell the press what they're yeah. doing. Okay. Well, I'm going to talk about. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have given you a segue. No, that's, setup, that's no problem. It's no problem. It's no problem. I, I don't need no stinking segue. <laughs> something. I wish I had a segue. Actually, the segue should almost be in the gadget warehouse, shouldn't it? Are they still selling them? Well, practically. I mean, the only people who ride uh, segues. I was talking to uh, somebody uh, who, oh, Loic Lemur, who is a, a, a Silicon Valley entrepreneur and technologist, founder of Seismic, and very famously has uh, several segues, loves to ride them around. And I, and I saw him at CES. I said, Loic, you, you didn't ride your Segway around. He said, no, Leo, he's French. He said, I talked to somebody who said, the only problem with the Segway is the only people you see riding them these days are security guards and mailmen. And he said he oh, realized wow. that it, it is no, it's not cool, no longer cool, if it was ever, to be riding a Segway. It's used by, you know, delivery yeah. people, but not normal people. Oh, right. Okay. To so all the people who work for the post office now. They're not normal. We, <laughs> oh, we, no. Oh, God. We, See, I knew. I, I, no, I well, hadn't I hope yet. Not expecting a Netflix to come over. Jammed my us. foot far enough in yeah. my mouth. So now it's all the way in there. It's kind of hard to talk with it. No, yeah, exactly. Can you uh, okay. bail me out with After a gadget? that, I do disassociate myself <laughs> from the person in California. Some of I'm my best my friends deliver the bail. Exactly. Exactly. They are uniformed officials of the, of the United States government. government. Actually, uh, isn't the post office these days a private uh, enterprise? I don't think the government uh, runs it anymore. I think it's a private it's corporation. Private. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Isn't it? Am I wrong? Did I make that up? I, I, think, I think they want to get rid of it, but I don't think that they have. <laughs> This is good. This is really we're digging it deeper and deeper. Yeah, the the government wants to get rid of the postal service, but they haven't done it yet. They haven't done it. They haven't found the buyer because they're <laughs> losing too much money. According to Wikipedia, yes, it is an independent agency of the U.S. government. It was reorganized in the early 1980s 
to be self-sufficient and has not, get this, has not received taxpayer dollars since then. So when they lose $10 billion... It's not our fault. Whose money is that? Not That's their problem. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's their problem. Uh, it, how, many, how many people do you think the Postal Service employs? You know, I have no idea. Six a couple billion hundred. people. More than Six the billion? population of China. What? Wait a minute. No, that's wrong. No. no. Sorry, 600. That would be three male men for every person. <laughs> 600,000 people. I added a, that's a little I added some yeah. zeros. And, and a quarter of a million vehicles. And how many segues? Yeah, probably, probably quite Just a few. three. It is the largest civilian vehicle fleet in the world. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But enough of that. <laughs> Do you have okay. a do you have a gadget? Yes, I have a gadget. Can we just I have start a gadget over? Can we just start the whole show over? That <laughs> no, go ahead. I have a gadget that um, I owned for a while, but had to send back. I don't know if you have a, had one. It should be in the warehouse, but they wanted it back, so I couldn't keep it. I had from two thousand and three the Spot Watch. Now, did you? Oh, get the one? Microsoft Spot Watch. No, I didn't. I thought it was well, kind of dopey at the time, to be honest. Well, you know what? It's very funny because I sent mine back too because it was from uh, Suno, S-U-U-N-O. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wildly expensive. It was, I believe, $330. <laughs> and it was big about, too, probably, right? It, <laughs> it was monstrous. I think that one might be the fossil one. Um, and what's kind of interesting is that you cannot buy a spot watch now, but MSN, Microsoft, is still providing the service. What it does, it will send you, you pay it for the service. It runs, oh, like uh, 10 to $12 a month, or you can get a, uh, a better deal if you do it by the year. And it can send stock reports and the weather. You never have just the time because it sends the time to your watch traffic. The idea is great. These watches just were not great. No, they were they were not great. And also, not only can you not buy a spot a, a spot watch anymore, but Microsoft has announced that early 2012 they are going to stop the service. Mm. Which is so too bad because there are actually quite a few. Uh, I believe there are quite a few um, GPS devices that use those. Yeah, that that that's what I wanted to mention yesterday. Yeah. Did you say something about in Ford Sync that there was some spot technology? You know, I thought it was spot in there, and I checked it. It is not. Oh, okay. So the that's Sync, a the Sync um, has, and the new Sync, by the way, is going to have like four different ways they can get data. Uh, but it uses your cell phone technology if there's a Bluetooth enabled phone. It also uses Sirius Travel Link, and I think that that is using radio. Uh, uh, frequencies open radio channels stuff like that but oh, okay. it's not because spot. The spot watch was fm right but right. i don't think it's spot it right. is a microsoft okay. you know it's microsoft auto inside but i don't think it uses i'm sure it doesn't use spot i hope well, it doesn't <laughs> the, the funny thing is when i got the watch from suno it was so big that i just sent it back i thought you know I don't even want to show this on television and tell people they should run out and spend three hundred and thirty dollars and and another you know twelve bucks a month right. to get the to get the weather and their crazy. horoscope because they crazy. could do that with the newspaper. I was sort of interested in the one from Fossil, but they never got their act together because it was a little it was a little bit smaller. And the fun thing was that you got to pick your own watch face that you wanted sent to the watch so you could sort of customize it. And the, the big thing was I hated to give up my Timex data link, which I still oh, wear today. you were a big data link fan. That was, was pretty geeky, geeky too. Yeah, you know, because you had your stock reports, you could send your appointments to it. And, and you'd have to hook it up. Like a watch. The first one you would have to show, you would show, oh, you still have it. Look at that. Is that the it. one I mean, where you show not, it to the screen and the screen blinks at you? Because that, no, no, that stopped that was, working. That was the original data right. link. That stopped working because you know CRT, it only worked yes, with CRTs. Exactly, exactly. And then they made a special add-on USB device. So is that, that USB, use. the one you have? Yeah, but, and, and then what, what they did is they originally made a, a USB sender that you would plug in if you had a CRT uh, monitor. And then they thought, wait a minute. 
why don't we just make the watch USB itself? Yeah. You don't have to buy this. Yeah. So so they're now USB. It comes a little cable. You plug it in the side, goes in a USB port. But the software for Data Link hasn't been upgraded in since like 2006. So another silly, you could do that as a silly old product. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I think I probably have. That's why I did the spot watch this time. <laughs> I'm not, I have to I have to say, be honest, I am not a huge fan. I love watches, but these these all of these solutions just didn't seem quite right to me. And now, well, now it's in the phone, right? You don't really need yes, that. It's all yes, on the phone. Exactly. And the, in fact, here's the amazing thing. Who would have predicted What's this? What's amazing? What, what is amazing? We don't wear watches anymore because it's we don't need them because the phone knows what time it is. Just because you lost your watch is no reason <laughs> that you have to make up the excuse that we don't wear watches yeah, anymore. My Obama watch, it disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. Could, could have been I threw it in anger into the ocean? No. Mm. No. No. Uh, you no, get angry? No. no. Never happened. No, but see, nowadays everybody knows what time it is from their phone. I don't, I think wearing a watch is now an affectation. Is it not? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, it's jewelry now. It's not... Or, or is it just you're so used to looking at your wrist? I am, yeah, I'm at least, yeah. And I'm my phone book is in there. You know what? I don't carry my phone every second of the day. Ah, that's I where often, you're different. Yeah, yeah. I often forget my phone at home because I only three, only five people have my phone number. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I, I, I very rarely make phone calls. The only time I call anybody is in fact the only three people i ever call are jennifer and the kids and it's always to say what's for dinner i'm coming home you know where are you uh i'm going to i'm going to cut you off you you you're no, yeah. no son of mine that kind of thing that I, kind of stuff yeah. yeah i have the verizon seven minute peak nine minutes <laughs> off peak plan. that's sufficient Sufficient. I mean, yeah. and that's only forty dollars a month. Yeah, they're very they're very reasonable when you get to that. Right. And and half of those minutes have to be on a landline, so it's <laughs> it's kind of strict. It's kind of. <laughs> now I you know I I still love watches and I buy watches. I just bought a watch, but it's um, you know I kind of collect them. It's it's jewelry. It's not. I don't think you need them anymore. Do you? Well, you, you buy watches that just tell time, right? Yeah, they don't have yeah. USB connections in my yeah, phone book. Silly. Anymore. That's... No, I, th I think on uh, on my website, I, I, I said, on this turn new table Tuesday, Leo buys a new blank. <laughs> Fill in watch, pen, camera, phone. They yes, all work. <laughs> it's true. <That's> like... <laughs> all of them are correct. All of them are correct. No, yeah. I do. I have to admit, I have a little, there are certain things I just love. And you hit the, you hit them right on the, <laughs> the name. There's some sort of, it's, it's, it's just some sort of geek fetish i guess and it's for what no, did you I say mean, pens watches phones phones what else and there was one of uh cameras cameras yeah you get it. That's, that's you yeah. that's that's laptops your life nutshell. cars yeah. houses those kinds of things people people i love yeah. buying and selling people it's okay, you've made on, it an art form on that, on that note <laughs> jesus why you know what i have to explain folks the reason the Friday show is always a little bit weird is because it's it's uh, we do a week at a time, and by Friday I'm just a, a basket case. You, on the other hand, are fresh as a daisy. I don't know how you do it. Well, the thing is, I just start by doing the daily giz with you. Always, I've, oh, do I've already done shows. I've already done me. some shows. You're right. Yeah. What am I thinking? That's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. If I if I were just beginning, I'd feel great right now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, a dramatic reading of a letter from our listeners. And Chris. Slow out, Slowinski. Fitzgerald, writes, I believe that's pronounced. <laughs> I completely adore the Daily Gizwiz. I used to listen to a variety radio show on CBC, canceled in the early 90s. The host would have segments in which he would talk to friends and they would laugh and laugh. Didn't matter what the subject was because the laughter was genuine and infectious. 
And I just love listening to these people have fun. The Daily Gizwiz has this because of the relationship you and Leo have. It's complete fun to listen to regardless of the gadget. I love it when you guys tell stories about old or, or joke or two about celebrities and personalities of yesteryear. Even though I was born in the 70s, I grew up listening to or being aware of the classics. And so I get the jokes when you two make them. It's different from today's <laughs> That's humor. That's different from all the rest of our yeah. audience as well. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad. It's so relieving um, to know Well, wait a minute. Does. Here's something for you. Here's oh, something dear. Leo need, uh, yeah, needs. Yeah. The Hawaii chair. Oh. Ostensibly, it's for working the core, but I think it's more for annoying the living crap out of people. <laughs> uh, so, Lee, if you go to YouTube and type Hawaii chair, you should be able to see what it is. YouTube Hawaii mm -hmm. chair. Hawaii chair. And here's the infomercial for Chris. the Hawaii chair. Take the work out of your workout. The Hawaii chair. It's a, got a hula, hula motor in it. You know, Tamara, this the is not Hawaii a joke. This is wasn't real. wasn't designed just for home. I mean, after all, for some of us, at least 40 hours of our week is spent sitting behind a desk at the office. Look at this. So to see what office workers think of the Hawaii so chair. So they swivel. Said, They're sitting in the chair, and it's swiveling them. Hawaii chair. We sent Aaron Lee to work. Well, Leah, do you think it's a motor or you think it's supposed to... Look at her. Look at her. It's got a motor in it. ...to a very busy work environment. <laughs> this poor girl is <laughs> trying oh to my talk. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. <laughs> it's great on my abs. It's a really round seat working, that's going around... ...while answering phones, it's just, using the computer... They're all books, trying so desperately to look normal. And it spins in an, an uneven pattern. Oh, it's not even just going around? Oh, no. Now, they shouldn't do that to older people. That's that's terrible. How much is the Hawaii chair? Well, we'll never know because that's all there oh. is. Wow. Uh, anyway. Wow, I'd like Chris, to buy thank that. Thank you. I guess Leo Leo probably have one by next Tuesday. <laughs> I, I want that. I want a Hawaii chair. Actually, Ellen on uh, on her show... Picked up on the Hawaii chair. Ellen DeGeneres? Ellen DeGeneres actually got a Hawaii chair. Let's let's take a look. All right, the reason I usually sit down on my chair, I have been waiting for this because I was talking about the infomercials. You know, we talked about this Hawaiian chair that helps you stay in shape while you're sitting down. <laughs> And uh, who doesn't want to stay in shape while they're sitting down? I ordered it. This is what I. This is what appealed to me. Hi, I'm Erin Lee with Perfect USA, and today we brought the Hawaii chair to a very busy work environment. Let's get some first-time reactions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Great, my house. You would be perfect really trying to talk. I, I think this would be good for them. Yeah. Using the yeah, I, I think I need this to just you know try to. It, 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 really, the reason to work out is because you're trying not to laugh. Or maybe try not to fall out of the chair. I was just going to say, try not to get thrown onto the floor from your spinning Hawaii chair. <laughs> it, it's a comfortable looking chair. I mean, it's got, it's yeah. nice pleather. What's great about it is, uh, is that you can, <laughs> you know, and they say you can do just about anything on it. You can, like, for instance, while you're working. <laughs> It's really out of control. It keeps spinning her into the back of the chair. I want, I desperately, I desperately want a Hawaii chair. I think that's, that, that's fantastic. I just, I have that, to have one of those. That is right. She tries to pour water and it goes everywhere. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. Well, thank you uh, to uh, Mr. Fitzgerald for, uh, for that yes. Note. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get one of those right away. I think you I think you should. <sighs> Dick, Dick, yes. Dick 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 Dick. We've come to the Leo. end of a week. Yes. But uh, so now we he's, you know here it's been pouring rain. I mean it's just been stormy stormy weather. And uh and, and really in fact there's quite a bit of concern about hill slides and stuff like that. What has winter been like for you in Manhattan? Winter has been 
bizarrely uneven. When we were out in Las Vegas, it was like 12, Ooh, 15, you didn't, you didn't miss that. 18 here. Yeah. Uh, and then when I was back, it was almost seven days where it never went above freezing. Wow. Really bad. The river ha had ice on it. And this week now, uh, yesterday it was 51. It, the weather in New York City has been really bizarre. It makes it a little bit easy to take because it's sort of like, okay, we're going to give you a week of really rotten weather. And then we're going to give you a week of really warmer than normal weather. So, so it, it's okay. And not a lot of snow, which is good. Yeah, I guess that's good. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's been uh, it's been rainy here, but I think spring is going to be here any minute now. Uh, and um, oh, well, it's California, so yeah. actually, you're gonna it's going to be three hours later. It is. Oh no, that's spring, you're going to get spring first. You'll get spring first. No, no, you'll get spring first, but we'll we'll get it sh we'll get it three hours after you get it. So I'm I'm excited oh, that's about right. that. Yeah. yeah. So we'll warm it up. Yeah, we'll yeah. send it on out. Send it on out here. Uh, we are going to be back next week. Don't forget, gizwiz.biz is the place to go to play the What the Heck is It contest to win yourself a chance uh, at a Mad Magazine. Also, lots of great stuff there, including notes that Dick puts up on all the gadgets we talk about so that you can... <laughs> Leo gets another blank. Wonder what it would be. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's another phone. Anyway, you can go there and find out all about all of the uh, gadgets of the day. And play the What the Heck Is It contest and uh, get Gizwiz Garbage or Gizwiz Garb. Your choice. Yes. It's, yes. it's all there. Gizwiz.biz. Dick, have a great weekend. Enjoy the weather such as it is, and we'll see you next week. I'll be here. D-A-I-L-Y. It's own gravy. Yeah.